What's happening guys? It's Misty Lovely coming at you with my week 32 post I've realized been update. I'm going to get right into numbers here. Um, last week I weighed, let me pull it up here, 298.5 and this week I weighed 295.6 for a total loss of 2.9 pounds this week. Just one, just one ounce shy of 3 pounds. And from my highest weight of 378 to now 278.8 to now 295.6, that is a total loss of 83.2 pounds. Oh man, I'm getting close to my 100 pound mark. I cannot wait for that because that will be the smallest that I've been in 10 years. Yeah, since high school, almost. Um, a few things I wanted to talk about with you guys um, are restrictions stuck episodes with the band um and actually talk about the band itself before i get into anything uh in regards to my week but as far as stuck episodes i'm noticing that now with my 5cc fill in my real life band and i believe that this band gets 11 this is what i'm told thank you black handy um as you as you get fills you become tighter so the things that work once before may not work and then you have to relearn how to eat um, each time because it's just like starting all over again each time. Um, also know that it's really important to have, uh, sorry you guys I'm holding this thing, um, something warm in the morning to loosen up the band um, possibly before every meal. Um, but I noticed that I personally get really full. Um, if I do do that so I cannot uh, drink something before so I try to t you know have it something hot at least at breakfast um, and you know what I used to wonder as a pre opera how it felt to have the lap band period like I'm like how does somebody live with that having a, something around your stomach constantly constantly squeezing you that was my misconception I thought it constantly squeezed me but no, it does not squeeze me at all. It only squeezes when it needs to. Like, you know, stop eating, stop throwing food down here. It's like a shoot and it's like, I'm full, chill. So that's what this band is supposed to do and that's what it's doing. You know, for me, I believe I'm at restriction for where I am right now. Um, there are times where I might want to try to force it, which makes, you know, that's overeating. And you can tell when you're overeating overeating by um, pressure in, in your ribs um, and that sounds crazy it's like you know but uh, that's exactly how, exactly how it feels it's very it's like a feeling of discomfort but not too bad that you can't live with it move around but it's not comfortable um, when you try to overeat um, and it doesn't it takes a longer time to happen with slider foods such as uh, like cereal because Missy Lovely has been experimenting with cereal here lately. It's funny because after surgery, I, before surgery I was never a cereal person and after surgery I, was, I still wasn't a cereal person but here lately I have been and I don't know if that's due to the fact that my cycle is around the corner because I still crave sweet stuff. Um, granted I will say I'm happy that I haven't had as many night episodes as I used to be a night crawler I call it you know get up in the middle of the night and want to eat everything. But I had, that hasn't happened but a couple times in seven months. As a matter of fact, one time last night, um, just wanted something sweet. So I had a, a peanut butter trail mix protein bar. Yeah, so speaking of that, um, me personally, I'm noticing that my mental has changed so much to the point where even if I think to go grab something that's high in catalog value or that I feel I shouldn't have too much of, I tend to always go for the healthier thing. I get almost irritated to myself sometimes. I'm going to the store with every intention to buy a candy bar and come out with a protein bar. I'm like, I know that I know that's like, are you serious? Are you complaining about that? I'm like, I'm so serious. I'm like, I'm so healthy. <laughs> and um, I'm also noticing too that my mental hasn't caught up with my body. Because I remember that I used to be so tired, you know, um, just to go wash. And now I'm like hopping and skipping where I'm going. I'm like, you know, I'm sorry. I feel light as a feather. Um, speaking of feeling light as a feather, you know, um, hope I can say this, but I was just talking to a friend of mine and she was just saying how I look, 
and I hear this a lot, I look light in my videos, I'm mean, light on my feet, you know. Granted, I've always been a bigger girl, but I've always been that way, you know. And I say that, to, I'm only saying this to say that you can do it, you know. The gym is a great feat. It's all about, it's a, a feat anybody can defeat. It's just about being consistent. And I've always had that problem where I wasn't consistent. And now that I have that consistency because the food's in check with the band, thank God for my tool, and I've chosen, you know, no matter what's going on in my life, I choose to make sure I focus on my journey and I take care of self first. And you know what, it might sound selfish, but the people around you benefit when they have a person that can actively be there. Because working out actually gives you energy. Speaking of working out, you guys saw that I worked out on the Super Bowl. If you haven't, Super Bowl Sunday. If you haven't saw that video, I'll post it here. Bam. And you can go check that out. Wait, wait. Do the bam again. Bam. <laughs> um, and like a crazy lady, we were there for two and a half hours. Now, that would be okay because that's a normal Misty Lovely workout. But y'all understand because the next day, my coach had Hell Week planned for us. And I know I yeah. yeah. He had hell week planned for us because I had to do six flights of bleachers. Now, this is an NSV for me. Let me tell you why it's an NSV for me. Because Miss T. Lovely does not run. I know that sounds crazy for somebody who's on the for two and a half hours, right? Miss T. Lovely does not run. I, for some reason, it's so intimidating to me. My, I, my breathing automatically, it's like I go into asthma attack mode right away because I know I gotta run. Because with our class, my um, professor, he, the coach, professor, whatever, he doesn't care about your size. He's like, y'all all doing the same thing. And he's always seen me excel in the classroom. So he's like, nah, you got this. Go on now. And I'm like, I'm running up the stairs. Mind you, my legs are sore as I don't know what. I'm running up the stairs, running up the stairs. <laughs> and she was like, no. Because it wasn't just the stairs. The bleachers that we had to do, the six flights, the whole entire row. Now imagine, you know, some of y'all been to uh, a graduation. Imagine running up all them stairs, up and down the stairs twice, and then having to run, and then having to go do um, planks, and then having to um, do 20, 20 different machines of a circuit, and then work out um, on some machine of your choice, and then still work out until the class ends, which is two hours long. Yeah, Miss T. Lovely was like jelly. Mm hmm. Jelly. I thought I was gonna fall out. I was not happy with that coach. I wanted to put his head on top of the bleachers, like, here lies Coach, whatever your name is. Anyway, <laughs> I hope this um, update has been informative. I wanna try to get back into doing that. I wanna make sure, you know, my peeps know about what they get into, whoever's watching me that may be interested in the band. Um, if this was as a help to you, Thumbs up! You know, um, I didn't want to say anything about it, but I did do a video about the thumbs down thing. And, you know, I'm still noticing that people are doing it. And, you know, I'm only saying this because I genuinely, that's how my heart is. I never know how I would feel if I'm in a situation. I know somebody else that went through this that can definitely relate to what I'm about to say. Um, you know, if I have hurt anybody personally, other than the, other than the person I know that, I talked about him that for his family. We already know how that worked, but if I hurt anybody, you know, I apologize. I don't know what I've said or done, but I just, you know, if I have offended you, wounded you, um, please, my inbox is always open. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Week 32 down, 2.9 pounds off, and um, I will talk to y'all later. See you next week. Bye.